Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind with your host Shenra currently playing as Bihar. Last episode we annexed Pegu and not a whole lot else happened, but this episode we got another mission to conquer Gondwana again. They say they'll give us a core if we take Baster. So we already have a core in Indravati and now let's tell us we get a core if we take Baster. So I think we've wasted enough time not declaring war on these guys and we're finally gonna, we have two different uh, <laughs> Casa Spellies we can use against them. We're gonna call our allies because Roger Pahana is the only one that says maybe, everyone else says very likely. Let's go ahead and get this started. If VJ joins the war against us, then my strategy is to fight them really hard here in Telangana and let them just kind of go this way. And hopefully they'll go that way and I'll just take like three of these territories and they'll just end the war. And uh, if they don't want to end the war quickly, then I can recruit as much as I want up here because I have cores. Actually, I'll have cores in all of this down here. So. Shouldn't be a problem. I don't foresee it as a problem. So let's hope that uh, everything goes well, huh? Let's see. Champa's on our side. Tangu is on their side. Kajmer is our side. Manipur is their side. Nepal, our side. Punjab, our side. Rajputana did not join. And Vijay is on our side. Okay, so we lost our alliance with Rajputana. However, we still have our alliance with Vijay. And the war looks like that. So all the big guys are on our side. Taungu is here, one territory, and Manipur is here, four territories. Okay, I can live with that. So let's get this invasion going. Did we learn about France? I mean, about England? Nope, didn't learn about any of that stuff. Oh, make sure I'm paying my troops. Yeah. Raise war taxes, too. get organized here and then we can take on their army. Ah, oh, we didn't win there. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not really caring what's going on in the war over here. I'm sure those guys are going to invade me along these territories and I'll just go conquer them. It's not a big deal. I don't think I'll take much infamy for this. This will be zero infamy. This one I think is 50% infamy. So this is 0, 2, this will be 4 and 4. So I'll only take 10 infamy for this entire problem if I annex them, which I probably will. Alright, so they're finally in Orissa. Oh, I guess we're learning about Europe slowly. We're getting messages about their alliances. Stop Fortress under siege. Our fortress under siege. All right, don't care. So we're gonna leave two guys, and everyone else is going to go. Why don't you get a leader, huh? Do I have a leader? My king is over there. So let's go this way. Send in my king. That made them leave. That's fine. Alright, now they're not leaving. Oh wow, we already got Intervati. Cool. And they're running to... Park Lamondi. Alright, so I'm fine with that. VJ can go ahead and circle the drain with them. I'm going to go over here and start invading. Well, this is really... This sort of, this actually worked out really well. Because VJ stayed our ally. Fortress under siege, don't care. VJ stayed our ally. 
they're going to keep, oh, they're going to move, they're going to try invading over here as well. So that means when we divide up Rajputana, they'll probably still be our ally. That's pretty cool. And yeah, yeah is engaging them for us. They're going for Indravati. Good for you, but yeah, you're all almost dead. Alright, this one's getting there first, so we're going to go directly to... Oh, Nepal's on our side. Cool. Let's go directly to their capital. You also go to the capital, and you go to Chin. Actually, why don't you go to Tangu? Because I can use my other armies to... Yeah, I can use this one to maneuver around. That's fine. Uh, sale of titles, aristocracy, or plutocracy. Well, I gained stability with that one, so... Yeah, stability's fine. And sliders are okay. Alright, we got Mandla. You guys go help in Gondwana. So I think these guys will just be vassals, or I'll just get a piece with them without doing vassalization. They don't have any causes belly on them. At one point, I had lots of causes bellies on Monopore, but I kept turning them down, so they stopped giving them to me, I guess. So, actually, let's send these two guys there, and let's send. these two guys there, and let's send. let's detach siege. Bingo. And everyone else can go kill these guys in Pegu. Ooh, temples are being built. Oh, that's right, I have magistrates. I should build something. Let me build tax or production. Or manpower. I do like manpower. Yeah, let's do manpower. What the? Aw, oh, did I screw that up? I think I screwed that up. Yeah, because VJ's going to get that siege now. Aw, oh, why did I do that? I totally ruined that. They only have 1,000 dudes there, and I ruined it. Wow, I'm a retard. Just putting that out there. Oh, we gained a causes belly against BJ because Gonzawan is in our sphere of influence. Oh, that's hilarious. So now I guess I have to wait for VJ. Oh man, why did I let them control that siege? I shouldn't have... I had two armies there and I grouped them together and that gave the siege over to VJ. That's so dumb. Oh, we converted someone. Nice. Yeah, war's going. I'm just gonna fast forward. VJ will eventually leave the war. And when they leave the war, we'll have to go resiege this stuff. I'll just leave my guys there, I guess. Brunei declared war. Don't care. Siege everything.
Cool, new trade technology. We have a lot of magistrates and we don't have a ton of money. I'll build one one production building. And the rest is paintings. I love paintings. Alright, so we got the star. Actually, can we... So we can't annex him because VJ has that damn territory. We could vassalize him and then take him over in 10 years. Um... That only be 4 in for me instead of 10. That actually is a very viable option. They don't have much money, though. Hmm... You know what? I'll do that, and then I'll have to vassalize them, and then I'll have to annex them. Yeah. Man, I don't like doing that, but... Damn. Alright, there we go. So Gondwana will null trees with Taungu. So VJ got out of the war. Thank you, VJ. You're the best. Just got Saigon... Just got Taungu. And that's our eight and five. I think he's supposed to be ten and five. Yes, yeah, so you go meet up over there. Got Chin. Got Manipur. You guys all go meet up in Gondwana. We will figure out our armies over there. So I think I just want to vassalize these guys. Vassalize and money. That's fine. So if I vassalize them, that's four infamy. Limit 46. If I vassalize them, four. Do I really want to vassalize Taungu? Mm, no. I'll leave Taungu alone. I'll vassalize Manipur. Okay. And these guys, I don't want to add so much infamy. I will be 7.5. I'm, I'm pause it there. So, Manipur accepted, so now I'm at 7.5 infamy. When I do these guys, this will be 2, 6, and 10, so that'll be 17 and a half. I mean, I guess I could vassalize them. Man, that's just so much infamy. And force religion. <laughs> it won't matter. Unless they convert for us. Ah, <sighs> Too many vassals. No. Not going to do it. I might get a, See, I might get a mission to conquer them. So I'll just leave them alone. I will demand they get rid of alliances and revoke cores. There. Perfect. Now you go back to doing whatever you do in Tanasarim. The war is almost over. I'm going to get an ally alliance with my vassal and going to annex. Why is it 12? With reconquest, causes belly, it's 12. It shouldn't be 12 because this one's 0. Yep. This one's 4. And this one's 2. Wait, why are you counting that as 4? You know what? Whatever. That's all screwed up. I'm annexing. You're done. Goodbye. Gain core on Bastard. So we completed that mission, but it didn't give us the half, the 50% infamy that it promised. Well, that's kind of lame. But relations with VJ are up to 200. And Rajputana, let's see. You're not in any alliances anymore. Man, that... We might have to... I think VJ still has core on Mawa. They do. So VJ will declare war on Rajputana soon. And then we can do the same. Do we have any, uh... Yeah, Dishonored Call. But we can't really take territory with Dishonored Call unless we want the Infamy. I've got an Infamy Reduction guy, and... Alright. 
sorry, I'm still waking up. <laughs> but uh, I think that worked out pretty well for us. In 10 years, we can annex Manipur if we want, don't have to. And we kept our alliance with Nepal, and we kept our alliance with VJ. I think that's all we have. Yeah, okay. So these guys want some money, I guess? Yeah, money will make you happy. And some more money. I'm not exactly rich, but I guess I can afford to give gifts to my vassals to keep them happy. Alright, so my 10 and 5 armies down there. I'm going to need an army here to keep these territories under control, because they're not happy. Even though that's a core. Why are you not happy? Non-accepted culture, war exhaustion, and nationalism. Whereas these guys are completely happy. Ah, uh, it's the culture, because this is Arisen culture. Okay, so at the start of the game, it's in Gondwana hands, but it's actual Arisen territory. Gotcha. So no revolt risk there. Alright, so I'll just leave my army in Gondwana and the other one in Baroda. Very cool. Create a proper fleet. Not going to do that mission, sorry. And you know what we can do now? Form Hindustan. So I have... I have a kind of worry about doing this. I definitely want to do it, like, quickly. But what this will do is give us cores on all these na on all these territories. And a lot of these territories are not in my possession. Is that right? Yeah, Maldives. Even Maldives. So the problem with this is we're going to get cores on all this junk. And having all these cores, I mean, it'll give us good causes belly on VJ, but it will mean that our prestige will constantly be going down. I'm not sure if it does the same for legitimacy, but it, it brings your prestige down because you don't have, because you, what's it called? I don't remember what the term is, but it means you have territory that is in someone else's hands, and you're supposed to get it back to keep your prestige up. So... I don't know, I'll just have to deal with it. I've been waiting for a long time to, to form Hindustan. The year's 1471, so it took 72 years to form Hindustan. Let's go ahead and get it done. There we go. Form the mighty Hindustan nation. Bring all of India under the Indian subcontinent under your rule. Alright, well there we go. So our name now shows Hindustan. Even though they have this crappy creative proper fleet thing. Let's look at our cores and see what we got diplomatic. Bingo. Yeah, all this line stuff is all cores. So we even have cores in Ladakh, and over here in Khorasan, and over here. Why do we have cores over there? Wow, that's crazy! Look at our cores. So we don't have cores down here, but we do have cores. Okay, so we have cores everywhere, even lower Nepal. Alright, so that means maybe we could go ahead and get war with Raj Patana because we have the reconquest causes spell only on Punjab. Maybe it'll change when I let a little time pass. But yeah, our color is now green. Very cool. And we have the Hindustan little flaggy here. Cool. Tyrone and Genoa. Surprise, Tyrone is still around. So now accepting Telugu. Reconquest against Coruscant, Tibet, Delhi, Nepal, Rajputan, and Vijay. Gain the alliance cost belly against Brunei and Patani. Who the hell are you at war with? Matram and Champa. Don't we want the infamy, or else I would. Alright, so I get zero infamy for getting a lot of territory from Rajputana, so I'm going to wait for a diplomat to show up, and we can start moving for them. I'll... No, I don't have to let VJ do that. I'll take Mawa. Screw you, VJ. I'm more powerful now. What's my force limits? 44. Fantastic. Let's recruit some dudes. Let's see... I'm going to need another full army. We'll get some more force limits when we take some of Rajputana. So, what do I want? Maybe another 8 and 4? 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and we're almost broke. God, this stuff's so expensive. Well, I think I can afford to mint for a while. And this is just temporary, and it's going to ruin my inflation, but I'm going to use it to build a big army. Cool, we converted some people. Do we need to convert anyone else? I don't think so. Where is religion? These guys, they have one, and these guys, they have one. So no, can't convert anyone else. At least not right now. Maybe when we uh, integrate Manipur. Alright, so our armies finally showed up here. I believe these were 8 and 4s. Yeah, 8 and 4s. Okay, so 8 and 4 are going to go to Udaipur. And the other 8 and 4 are going to go to Ajmer? No, Kandesh. It's probably the closest thing to Malwa. I just want to make sure I beat VJ to Malwa, or else they'll take it. Still good relations with VJ? Yeah, we're at 200. Alright, let's go ahead and build another Indian Hill Fighter. Don't have core there, so I guess I'll do it. Don't I have core there? Confused. Yeah, I do, so why can't I build the troops I want? Oh, because I'm poor! <laughs> I am very low on monies. I like the new color a lot. That's pretty cool. Nepal and VJ, that's fine. They're both my allies now. So I guess they like me too? Yeah, 105. Well, they don't like me that much. We have royal ties, so we're gonna lose this. We're gonna take a stability hit for declaring war on them. Guaranteed by VJ. I wonder if VJ will do or will go in the war on our side or their side. I honestly don't know. Can I expand influence? Yeah. Maybe that will uh make VJ not care about him so much. Alright, so our troops are starting to recruit, and I don't think we're going to need tons of them anyway. So why don't we go ahead and get this war? Oh, I can't. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this war started. Call allies. Yep. Very likely. Nepal is unlikely, and Champa says impossible. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I don't mind losing Champa or Nepal, so screw it, we're going. Stability drop, and we're invading Malwa, and we're invading their capital. Yeah. Actually, no, we'll go Jodhpur, just in case VJ gets there. Gets a little uppity. And our troops are starting to finish. Let's go meet in Delhi. Kashmir joined, Manipur joined, Punjab joined, and VJ honored their alliance with Raj Patana. Really? Really, VJ? You're gonna be all uppity? Wow, you got 30,000 guys right there. Wow. So 14 and 30 versus 11 and 42. So they actually have more troops. Hmm. I honestly did not expect VJ to go against us. Guess I shouldn't get so cocky. Alright, you guys go to Nagpur. I guess we really do need that other army up here, don't we? Raise war taxes. That might have been a bad idea. I don't know. We'll see how bad the uh, war exhaustion gets. But, yeah, here we go. This is the first uh, <laughs> Indian super fight right here. And they actually have more troops. But that some of those may be... Rajputana, and I don't expect Rajputana to put up much of a fight. VJ's got nine. Man, I really need some, some generals for this, but I don't have any uh, diplomats for it. I had highest warning us, oh no. Alright, you are you're already invading Telangana. Good for you. See, our allies are coming to help. Yep. Nope, you're not Kashmir because you don't care. But everyone else came to help. Everyone else is cool like that.
don't think we're going to get lucky with an assault. And I really need to take out some of these armies somewhere. I don't need my backup to show up. God, you're so far away. Look at that. You guys are building troops. That's cool. Take my generals down here. Yeah, he is. Whatever. So we're not going to have any luck sieging, but we need to try anyway. The sooner we can end the war with Rajputana, like maybe just take two provinces, or just one, or just nothing. Oh, we, we don't have it a diplomat. Whatever. Well, let's try to siege them. If we can end the war with Rajputana, we might be able to uh, get out of this war quickly and move all our stuff towards uh, Vijayanar. All right, so we did get Jodhpur. So let's see if we can't get peace yet, because we don't have a diplomat yet. Damn it. Give me a diplomat. You guys are forming up. That'll be 15,000 and 6,000. That's 21,000 right there. Wow. And you guys failed miserably. The only reason I was so quick to start this next war is we. We're not going to take any infamy for fighting any of this land. None. Because it's all cores. So, figured mine as well. But we will take infamy against VJ because I know we have the same causes belly against them, but we didn't declare war on them. We declared war on Rajputana. And I think that's how it works. Actually, let's all go, except for them, let's all go this way to Agra, because I need to get my defenses down towards uh, central Hindustan anyway. Ooh, Hindustan. I like staying, saying that instead of, uh, instead of uh, Bihar. I did like being Bihar. You know, small little country, four territories only, and they grow up to form this mighty country. All right, so we're not going to take that. We're not going to take that either. Can we just get peace with you? Not white peace. They will take it. Can we just get that one territory? They will take it. What about two territories? Nope. They'll take two. I mean, they'll give me two. Interesting. Yeah, I'll take two, because that's no infamy at all. Very cool. Alright. So the war with Rajputana is over. Bingo. And we got two territories, no infamy. Oh, that's beautiful. So now we can come down. We get we don't have access to them. Damn. So let's go down here and attack them at Udaipur. And when we get close, we'll pinch them in from Malwa and see if they want to uh, have a little tango here. My 24,000 versus their 21,000. They probably will want to because they'll have generals and will have the defensive bonus. So good luck to them. Let's see what the war stats look like now. So now we have 15,000. And 33,000 versus 12,000 and 34, 35,000. So it's a little more even now because we took Rajputana out so quickly. Rajputana is busy with the Timurids anyway. So you guys still coming? Yeah, it just takes you a long time because you live in the mountains. And you guys still aren't coming. Kashmir, you suck. You're a bad vassal. Just letting you know there. Hmm, war score with VJ is still zero could potentially come down here and just start taking stuff. But let's... I mean, I don't want to take any of their territory because I can't... I don't think we can for zero infamy. And I'm only interested if it's zero infamy. Alright, so we're finishing stuff. Assam and VJ, that's fine. So I think all of VJ's alliances are filled now. No, they have one more alliance spot. They canceled their alliance with Rajputana. So they they used their alliance with Rajputana to declare war on us. That was their reason for declaring war on us. And then they canceled it right after they declared war on us. Alright, so we're going to have our two armies pinch here. And I really need to get my general over there. So where is my general? Oh, he's still way down there. 
All right, you are now my general. Actually, your your morale kind of sucks. So sit around for a bit. Sit on it. All right, we landed in Nagpur. You guys are finishing an armory. Uh, one of them's going to. Uh, okay, so I'm putting one in Nagpur, one in. How about you go to Maharashtra? You guys got a territory, so now you're moving to Bastor. Actually, you might come to Nagpur. We'll see. And morale finished. When will you get there? 15th of June. June 25th. Oh, they have another army coming up. Mm, not super interested anymore. I mean, I'll have to do it eventually, but yeah, they've kind of pinched me off here because I can't walk through this territory, so I have to go through Udiper to get out of here. So I guess the fight's going to happen there. Maybe I'll have to bring all my armies over there? I have no idea. Well, for now, you're going to Bastor. We'll see when things get a little closer. Actually, I'd be fine with White Peace right now. I'm not... All right, so they're they're backing off to Baroda. Cool. So they're going to meet everyone in Baroda. So that means they're letting my army out. Thank you. Very considerate of you. Then I guess I will go to Kandesh and try to siege there. Oh, now they're moving to Udiper, June 21st. And they will have the attacking penalty, and I can't even get out of there. 3rd of July. Yeah, they're going to beat me, so I guess I might as well just go ahead. So it's going to be a big fight here, and they're going to outnumber me. But we'll have the defensive bonus, and we have a general, but our general kind of sucks. Man, these guys take forever to march. They've moved two territories in that whole time. You guys both... Uh meet up in Mandla. That'll be a good defensive point because we can start invading from there if we want. Alright, so here's this war. It's getting started. Alright, so they are coming to Nagpur. They're going to be there on the 8th of July. Can I get out of there? Yeah, I'll get out of there in time. And you guys need to start going... You know what? I don't mind losing one and two guys. I think I'm going to go invade down here and just see if they'll ignore my troops while they are rampaging around. So yeah, go there and then there and then there. And the other guy... The other guy go there, and then there, and then there. So we're going to lay siege to that stuff down there. Everyone's going to meet up in Mandla. I'm going to try to do a, do a little dance with this army and see if we can't stay ahead of him just a tiny bit. Oh, I, can, I can't recruit a general because I don't have any diplomats. How's this fight going? Oh, it doesn't go so well. We're losing quite a bit. Yeah, we lost. And they somehow caught my army in Nagpur? It said we were leaving... It said they were arriving on the 8th, and it said we were leaving on the 8th. There's no way we should have been able... We should have been caught. Very lame. Alright, so this... Oh, they lost, they, they lost their general. Oh, now we might win this. Yeah, look at those numbers. Look at that. Yeah, come down here and start sieging. You guys, same thing. Come down here, come down here, and siege it there. You, same thing. Come down there, come down there, and siege there. 
Cool. So they may just ignore us down here. That would be the best. And yeah, Manipur is going to do the same thing. My my vassals are going to start invading stuff and just laying siege. Oh, cool. Kashmir decided to join. Thank you, Kashmir. You guys are the best. Kiss, kiss. No, not so good a roll there. Not so good a roll there either. I mean, the only advantage they have right now is morale. We've got the numbers advantage, and we've got the general, and they don't. All right, so if we demand this stuff, we get... Yeah, see, that's the thing. Because we declared one Raj, we don't get the same bonus down here, so that we get the infamy if we want to take anything from VJ. Even though we have cores on it all, we just can't do it. So they wouldn't take white piece. Would they take, like, a quick... Surrender? No. They want to war for a bit. That's fine, so we'll have to get a war score up before we can uh, demand peace from them. Two guys showed up there. Why don't you split up? Go there and go there. The other one... Go there and go there. Actually, yeah, that's fine. This army's doing okay. Uh, we finished a new guy. Go there and go there. If we win this battle, they're going to retreat down here anyway. And I can't really chase them, because our numbers will probably be way low. No, we, we lost anyway. And we're going to two different territories. Why would we split up? Oh my god. That sucks. Our stupid, uh... Our... Nope, go that way. Nope, go that way, that way, that way, that way. Actually, you can just go here. Our morale got too low. They have, yeah, they've got military drill, so their morale stayed up even though we had a general and they didn't. That's That was the difference right there, that one tech that they had. Assam joined the war. Well, that kind of sucks. I didn't want you to join the war, Assam. Now I have to do something about you. Oh, I didn't want to. And that means they are now at war with Manipur. Oh, so lame. I guess this army's gonna have to go to Assam. Damn. Well, good thing I'm building a new army. Actually, how's that going? I'm making a lot of money, so... But that's just because I'm minting. Maybe I can bring that down a bit. And they're following us to Jodhpur. It's going to be no leader 8 and 4 versus no leader 11 and 4. Damn. Can't believe my army split up like that. That's not cool. Yeah, we immediately lost our whole army there. Oh, that sucks so bad. Can't believe it. So, 1, 2, 3... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just gonna have to start throwing money around. Re recruiting another eight and four army there. Alright, so we landed in Assam. They're going to Manipur. I don't care if they go to Manipur. Ah, new. Oh, that means our. Our leader was in the army that died. No, he wasn't, but let's see. We have a new... Yeah, wow, that's a good leader. I'm not sure if I want to convert him to general. No, I'll just I'll buy a general instead. He's okay, actually. Wow, you guys are so depleted. Look at that. I wonder if I can group my army up here and go to Dadra and stop him. I 
that is a 10 and 5 army and they only have like 800 dudes in it. Yeah, we didn't even get it. Alright, so that made them stop. So now we can go here directly. I'll pinch them in. I'll go there and I'll go there. Then I'll join these guys into the fight from there. You're going to Cooch to regen, I guess, so you can go here. Or you can go there. What is that? Five and one? Yeah, you go there. And we can kind of meet up these armies here in Baroda. Because they're not doing anything about me down here yet. They will eventually, but for now, I'll let them just kind of chill. And you guys failed at taking that territory, but we'll get it next month, maybe. Yeah. So now we can start spreading out here in Awesome. 18th of October, we won't get there in time. Oh, we will! Cool. Fight their army. Probably don't need to fight their army, but whatever. Wow, our manpower is really low. I gotta end this war soon. Who's in the war that I can get out of it? Only awesome. Got a 15%. Can we demand that from you? Yeah, they would, and they would get out of the war. Or we can just tell them to nope, concede defeat and get rid of your alliance with VJ and Nepal. And they will. That means we can go away. Alright, so we got peace with Awesome. That was easy. Hmm, 12 and 3 versus 10 and 5. They have a general? Of course they have a general. Why wouldn't they have a general? What self-respecting country wouldn't have a general? Jeez. Oh, now they're up to 4. Damn, it takes too long to get there. Damn it. I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to stop. Yeah. Maybe it'd be better to stop in Marastra. No, I need to stay. I need to keep them pinched in. Damn, I thought that, I thought I'd have the advantage here. They were so low, they had 800 dudes, but just staying there one turn in their territory, one month, got them another 3,000. Damn. All right, let's hurry up and get there. I have to beat the end of the month. They're going to get out of there first. Really? Yeah, they're going to get out of there before I can get there. So they're going to go to Baroda, and then group up in Baroda, but they won't get the... They, their military won't get replenished, if that makes any sense. Oh, man, this is not going well for me. It's not going badly either, it's just not going very well. I was glad I could get uh, Awesome out of that, out of that war quickly. Alright, so we engaged them, and that might have been a bad idea since they have backup coming and I don't. And it was right before the end of the month. Ah, uh, well, we'll see how it goes, huh? Let's start bringing our reinforcements in, like, quickly. You go to Calicut. You are going to write your Doab, go to Kongu. So we may win this. It's more of a morale thing again. They have that big morale bonus and we don't. Alright, we did win. And they're going to Ahmadabad. So they're just going to meet up with their buddies. So the big question is, can we kill them? And I don't think we can. Can we kill them before their buddies show up? I don't think we can. We get there first, but their buddies will eventually show up. It's another... It's too many troops. Too many troops. This is the army we need over there. And we don't have it right now.
So there they are. Our morale is still low. They haven't brought their buddies over yet. That's interesting. Maybe they expect to lose and retreat again. Yeah, they expected to lose. Oh, they're going to Cathawar. Interesting. If we can get them trapped in down here... I don't know why their buddies aren't helping. If we can get them trapped in down there, that'd be fantastic. And dude, my vassals should totally be over here getting this province back for me. Why aren't you? Instead, they want to attack. Huh. Still don't have money for a leader. I don't want to convert my king because he's awesome. Alright, so we landed in Cathawar. Alright, so now they're coming. Okay. That army is almost dead, though. Give to the state money or prestige. Uh, who would take one prestige instead of 340 ducats? Look at this. Now I can get a general. That was amazing. Look at that. Ooh, ooh I got a general. He kind of kind of sucks. He's only got like six dots, but whatever. You guys all meet up in Agra. Maybe I can go take on this army now. Just to move them out of my land. We'll see. I'll refresh one turn in Gondwana. Here's where the fight's at. They still don't have a commander. But the morale is way better than mine. So we're laying siege to stuff down here. They're, they're like not recruiting anything. I wonder if they've hit their manpower limit. That might be it. Because we just had that war. They were just in me with a war with Rajputana. And then they were also in that war with me over here and over here. So maybe, yeah, maybe they recruited too many troops, or maybe they lost too many guys or something, but maybe they're at their manpower limit and they can't recruit anyone. Man, if we can win this here... No, we lost. They're following me to Cooch. I'll get there first, and I'll get on the 31st of January, so I will get a some replenishment of dudes. Who's going to Cooch with me? 5-1. A lot of them are going to Cooch. Damn, I was hoping I would win that. Alright, so 19th of January. Let's go ahead and start fighting them. Don't care about a revolt right now. Yeah, they've only got 1,000 and 100. They don't have that many people here, but our morale is, like, so low. There we go. Morale boost. They got the morale boost, too. Ah, I get it. But we do have more guys, so we'll see how that goes. And I think instead of going down here, we need to go over here. Yeah, like that. This is really where the war is going to be. If we win this area over here, we win the war. End of the story. Yeah, they're down to 2,000 guys. Yep, they're going to lose their entire fleet, or armies. They're all gone. Fantastic, so we destroyed two whole armies there. They had four, now they have two armies. If we start, if we see them start recruiting like mad, then we know they weren't out of manpower at least. You need some time to relax, but not sure I can give it to you. I need to get over here quickly. Revolts in Beaconer and Pegu. Don't really care at the moment. You guys are arriving on the 6th of April. 8th of April. Okay, so we'll pinch him in.
killing this army is pretty much winning the war. And then it's just a matter of getting rid of their sieges. White peace? Yeah, they want white peace. What about if we demand you annul a treaty? They will. Alright, so why don't we get out of this war? Oh, they'll even do that. Interesting. They'll revoke a core. Oh, they'll do anything now, because they... I don't really want any, uh... Any infamy. Can we make you release anyone, like Deccan? No. What about Gujarat? They will release Gujarat. They will release Kandesh. They will release Ceylon. Don't really need them to release any of this stuff, though, because we have cores on it all, so... But if we make them release stuff, then we can do separate wars against just those territories, and that will reduce Vijayan, Vijayan Nagar's uh, manpower and their military power. So the next time we fight them, they'll be weaker. But it will also make these guys our allies. We can just cancel the alliance. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we pick Ahmadabad here? Can we also get Kandesh? Can we also get Maldives? They will, they will do Maldives. Yeah, let's do that. And Maldives. Yeah. Cool. How about some money? So, even though we have a war score of negative 2, we are able to demand 31 out of it. That's amazing, because we killed, we killed half their military. Alright, let's get out of this war. Cool. You draw independence, Maldives independence. And we don't really want this alliance. So now we have reconquest on Gujarat and Maldives. Alright guys, well, I think that's way more than enough for this video. <laughs> we uh, finally got the cojones to take on Gondwana. And uh, out of pure luck, VJ joined our side of that fight. And then, because we formed Hindustan, we gained cores on all this stuff. And that means we were able to go to war with Rajputana right away and take two territories. But Vijay joined the war against us. So now we have a very good situation in India where we have cores on everything you can see so we can get all this stuff back. And that's, that's going to be the next couple videos, I bet, is taking out Gujarat and slowly grinding down Vijayanagar. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time.